Hi, I'm Gretchen Rivas with Relax Massage Therapy and today we're going to talk about Swedish massage for the neck. For this you will need massage lotion, a massage table, and workspace. Whenever I'm working on the neck and the facial area, usually what I do is I work with some lotion rather than the oil that I use on the rest of the body, mainly because people don't like to get a lot of grease in their hair. Lotion is a little bit softer and just feels nicer. I usually put a little lavender or something pleasant in it, maybe a little peppermint. So whenever I'm working on the neck, I go in and I do some warming up. You can do a little stretching through here like this. And then when I turn the head, I always, I always support the head with my other hand here. And when I turn to work on the neck, get in here and work on the scalenes. Remember, you want to watch out for the carotid artery in here. You don't want to cut off their blood circulation or anything like that. Work in here and loosen all this up, follow them down into their attachments through in, under here. Is that too tender? You alright? Mm -hmm. Okay. If it's tender, you know, have them breathe through it. Not, don't go too deep if it's too much for them. And then the other thing that's good for neck work is you can get in on the SCM. It's very tight on a lot of people, but be gentle and go carefully because it can be um, a very sensitive area on a lot of people. But it's, you know, it attaches in here and you have it up here and it goes in here to the mastoid. So you want to you want to get in there. If somebody's having a lot of headaches and migraines, getting in on the SCM and really getting under that sternocleidomastoid muscle and working some adhesions can give a lot of relief for headaches and migraines. So get in there on the neck. Do a little occipital cranial base release in here. And with this, I'm basically I'm just holding my fingers right here at the edge of the occiput and the neck. A lot of muscle fibers in there that need to be, be released, get really tight. And then you can stroke through again. Of course, you want to do the other side. Don't do just one side. Stroke through the scalenes. I always do a nice little stroke all the way down and up and through because it feels nice. And that's how you do Swedish neck massage.